Oh, there's another train coming the way. The way. I should honk the horn. I guess that's what train people do, right? When you see another train, you honk at each other? Maybe? Maybe not? Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and yes, today we are continuing our Train Sim World 2020 Let's Play. I've only made one episode so far on Train Sim World, so if you've missed that, I'll leave a link in the description to a playlist where you can go and check out that previous episode. And if you go on to enjoy this video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like, and if you're new around the channel, then consider subscribing. I make content on all vehicular games and simulation games like Train Sim World, so if that's something that you like to watch, maybe consider me subscribing. So in the last episode, we had a little bit of training in the Northern Transpennine region. Today we're going to be continuing our Northern Transpennine journey, um, but today we're not going to have any help. It's going to be all my own driving. I've learned the controls a little bit. I will admit that I have uh, done a few journeys off camera just to get used to the controls and everything that the screen throws at you, all the information. I know what everything means now um, because in the last episode I did cock up a little bit. Um, we did manage to complete the journey but it wasn't the most smooth journey. So hopefully today is going to be a little bit more smooth and hopefully a little bit more enjoyable for you to watch. So let's just get straight into it. We're going to be continuing our journey. We're going to be going from Manchester, Victoria to Leeds. Um, it's quite a lengthy journey. It's about an hour in real time. So let's just get this thing started. And here we are in the train. Um, we have to go and first unlock the doors. Um, so if you've never seen an episode of Train Sim World, if it's uh, a game you've never seen gameplay of before, or you haven't watched my previous episode, then it is a train simulator, obviously. Um, but it is quite realistic. I mean, I've never driven a train in real life, but it does appear to have everything that a train would have. It seems pretty realistic. You've got to stick to the train schedule as well. So there is actually... A schedule um, you have to follow like a real train so you can see in the top left corner there it says wait until 49 30 minutes past one and you can see in the speedo gauge in the center of the speedo gauge what the current time is so we have a little bit of a wait <coughs> not sure why that wipe is going let me just turn that off it always seems to turn on when I park in a station. I have no idea why. Um, but it does take me a little while to get things going. So let's go ahead and uh, turn everything on. We've got to turn the master key on first. Put the reverser to forwards. We want the throttle on. The brakes fully off. There we go. I'm just going to let that build up the pressure there. And then we'll just increase the throttle and we are away a little bit slow off the line <coughs> excuse me but yeah pretty good to be honest that wasn't a bad start and it is um, seven miles to our next stop and we can see we're going to be reaching Staley Bridge at four minutes past two hopefully uh, now there is a speed limit you can see in the speedo gauge that little red line on the speed marker That is the speed limit in the station, which is 15 miles an hour. It's kind of depressing to be honest um, But the speed limit does go all the way up to 80 miles an hour in places So we're not going to be traveling this slow all the time, but just through the station you do have to stick to the speed limit it is a simulation game so i like to play it as realistic as possible i mean that is kind of the point of simulation games is to simulate a real life situation or scenario so i like to play it as realistic as possible 
Um, I did off camera test the maximum speed limit of the train. I got this train up to a hundred miles an hour. Um, I'm sure it could go faster, but that maxed out the speedo. So, um, in a straight line, you can go up to 100 miles an hour absolutely fine. Um, but if you go around any sort of corner, you will just derail. So, derailment is a thing on this game. You can derail your train and you will lose points for doing that. So, you need to sort of stick to the speed limit. The other reason you've got to stick to the speed limit is obviously stopping at the stations. So you want to be getting to the stations on time to get the most points and to get the best score and that is going to help you progress through the game. Um, so you can see in the top right there we get AP points, you get those for driving under the speed limit, for stopping at red lights etc. So. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff to keep your eye on. You've got to look out for speed limits. You've got to look out for red lights. You've got to make sure you're stopping in the right place. But once you get everything right, it is quite an enjoyable game. It feels like you're actually achieving something, which is really nice. So, yeah. I wonder how realistic this like journey actually is to real life. So. The distance it takes to travel somewhere is kind of realistic. Um, so if you've ever played Euro Trucking Sim, you'll know that if you go from the north of England to the south, or vice versa, it actually takes nearly the same amount of time as it would in real life. So it does take quite a long time to move through that map. Um, I did miss the speed limit there, so I'm just going to apply a bit of braking see it's a little bit janky when you're going too fast so we'll just bring that speed limit down don't really want a derail <laughs> there we go and we're gonna sit at about 22 is fine uh, it gives you like a three mile an hour tolerance but yeah as I was saying um, it is quite realistic so if it tells you a journey will take an hour it will take you an hour of real life time to play that journey so if you're going into this game for the first time make sure you have plenty of spare time because um, it can be a little bit frustrating if you get things wrong the first initial journey you're gonna cock up I did in the last video um, hopefully today is going a bit smoother I've missed one speed limit so far but that's not the end of the world I think the only thing this game is missing is like an announcement thing where you could make announcements so if you press the button on the dashboard you could make like the train announcements to all of your passengers I think that would be a pretty cool thing especially if you got like extra points for announcing you know mind the gap between the train and the platform all the usual stuff you hear on a train if it had that kind of thing that would be a big improvement on the game it's only a minor thing but as I've mentioned before minor things in games make the thing make the game feel more complete so those little things that you don't really notice straight away are what make a game complete so I think something like that would be pretty cool apart from that I can't really complain about this game it is a 2020 game so I guess the only thing I could say is if the graphics were a little bit better because you can see the trees out there are quite a low render um, object so I mean that would be nice if the trees were a bit more high rendered um, but apart from that it's a pretty cool game I mean you can get out of your seat if you want to and like walk around I wouldn't advise doing it but you can um, you can open the side doors and stuff so you can open the doors there Unfortunately, you can't climb into the back and like walk around. I think the passengers would probably be a bit nervous if you did that. Um, but, I mean, you can turn on the wipers that you've already seen. So you can turn the wiper on there and that's going. Um, so, I mean, it's a pretty cool game. There's lots of stuff that you can do on this. You don't just have to stay in England. Um, hopefully... In some of the next episodes, we'll go and check out some of the other railway locations. I know there's one in Switzerland or Germany where it's snowing. Um, you can go over to the 
west coast if you want to on the west coast main line so if you're a big train um, fanatic if you like trains then it's a pretty cool game um, you can basically drive a train um, once you get used to all the controls it is quite an enjoyable game to play I have to say um, it's a little bit more slow paced than the other games I play so I play a lot of Forza Horizon um, GTA 5 they're quite fast paced race games when you play something like this it's quite a casual slow paced game you get to enjoy the scenery I mean right now I'm literally doing nothing on the controller um, so you don't have to steer obviously because it's a train um, literally all you have to do is keep an eye on those speed limits so you can see 200 yards it's going to 50 miles an hour so I'm just sitting at about 50 miles an hour um, so I'm ready for that when that kicks in there we go um, but yeah once you get everything right it is quite a fun game um, initially you'll probably get things completely wrong I've never driven a train before I don't know the controls of a train I've never played any game like this before um, so I have played other simulation games but I've never played a game quite like Train Sim World so it's quite a nice change of pace if you're looking for something different to play it can be frustrating initially but once you get the hang of it it is a really fun game and controlling the speed is really the hardest part of this game you've got to really keep your eye on the speed a little bit so you can see I'm coming in now 15 miles an hour it's gonna jump on the speedo there that little red line you can see on the speedo is going to jump to 50 miles an hour. There we go. We are slightly over, but not too bad there. We're going to come into Staley Bridge two minutes early, which is nice. Coming into the station. This is probably the hardest part of the game. It'll just take a little bit of getting used to. Is stopping in the right place. So the speed limit in the stations is always 15 miles an hour. I'm not sure if that's the same in real life, I assume it is. Um, so you're not really going that fast, but you've got to kind of judge the brakes and stuff and get the train perfectly in the spot. So you can see this like red markings. This is where it wants you to pull up at the station. It wants the train engine right down there on that marker. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of braking. You don't really want very much. The brakes are very, very strong on this because it is probably like a hundred ton train so I'm just going to ease it down slowly it's probably going to come in quite fast and then when you park in there you just want to put the e-brake on there or the handbrake and there we go that was a pretty good stop um, then you just got to go ahead hit right on the d-pad and unlock the doors there the wiper turns on for some reason I don't know why it does that but it does um, um, but now you can see in the top left there it wants us to wait till four minutes past two so we've got a little bit to wait about 10 seconds I'm gonna go ahead and fire everything up because it does take a little while to get things moving again um, we'll put the throttle on let it build up the boost So you've got to build up the turbo and then you can increase the throttle and the train should start moving there we go that was a pretty good pull away from the station we pulled into the station nicely we got 15 mile an hour speed limit so we'll just keep that throttle quite low about 30 percent um, we'll go ahead and turn on the lights in a minute so we can see when we're going through the tunnel but it is pretty cool that you can like look around like this you've got all of these things on here so you've got the heaters you've got lighting in the engine room and then you've got tail lights um, inspection lamps you've got all these things I mean you can control them all from the controller as well so you can uh, you can adjust everything just with the buttons on the controller or you can actually look around and interact with them like this so you can like switch all these levers and things 
Um, that front light doesn't seem to be doing very much. Can't really see where I'm going. I mean, we don't really need to see where we're going. We're in a tunnel and we're on a train track, so we don't need to steer, but yeah. Right, we've got 11 miles to Huddersfield. We're sitting nicely at 58 miles an hour. Everything seems to be hunky-dory. It's one mile until 45 miles an hour. So I'll maybe just knock the throttle off now and we'll just start bringing our speed down a little bit. Sort of in preparation for that. We're going uphill so we don't really need any braking. The uphill um, gradient is going to act as our brakes. So we'll maybe just apply a little bit of braking. About 6%. We'll just slow us down nicely. Okay, we are one mile from our next destination, Huddersfield. Um, we're going to be coming up to the 50 mile an hour speed limit of the station in a minute. So we'll go ahead and knock the nose lights on. Um, I'm not really sure that that's that important. Um, but we'll just go ahead and release the throttle and apply quite a bit of braking because we're coming up to 50 miles an hour, dropping from 50 miles an hour, so we are going to need quite a lot of braking. Right, let's see if I can get this lined up as well as I could with the last one. and we'll knock the throttle off now oh, maybe we should have kept the throttle on a little bit we'll just slowly creep down the platform we are a little bit late now we're six seconds past but I mean we're arriving pretty much on time And there we go. We are a little bit off the marker, but we're pretty much, pretty much bang on. It wasn't quite as controlled as the last stop. The wiper has come on. Of course it has. I don't know why the wiper keeps coming on on its own. Um, I keep having to turn the wiper off. It's not even raining. I mean, there's a few clouds, but there's no rain. Get that to move. Okay, let's go ahead and lock the doors. We'll turn up the throttle let that build some boost and then we'll go ahead and release the brake and increase that throttle up to max and we should be pulling away oh, I think we did stall there you have to let it build up the boost pressure if you don't let it build up the boost pressure then um, it does stall a little bit so you have to let it build up the boost pressure, slowly increase the throttle. You don't want to go for max throttle straight away. Um, I am struggling just to get out of the station a little bit here. There we go, we are moving now. I've, I've not quite got the hang of moving off yet. You, you've got to, I think, build up the boost pressure. So have the throttle on, let it build up the boost pressure of the turbo and then release the brake and slowly increase the throttle. I went straight to max throttle there, it doesn't seem to like that. Um, it gets a bit of wheel spin or something, I guess. Um, so you've got to just slowly bring up the speed, uh, or bring up the throttle, and then it will move off nice and slow. So that wasn't the best stop we've had in the world. We were a little bit off the market and I couldn't get it going. But it is 8 minutes to Dewsbury is our next station stop. And something I just wanted to show you before we move on is you actually have a schedule here. So you can see the, the station stops, the ones that we've been to already are obviously the green ones. The next stop is Dewsbury at 38 minutes past 2. Uh, then we have a stop at Leeds which is our last station stop and that is at 54 minutes past 2 or 5 to 3. So we've got two more stops to go 
but it's quite nice you can see what time you're supposed to arrive at those stations and you can also see how well you've done at the other station so if you've got a tick on them that means you've done it pretty much perfectly um, if it's like yellow then that means it was okay you arrived there and you didn't derail and the red one is kind of yeah you completely fucked this up so um, yeah I thought I'd just show you that it's something that's kind of interesting um, in case you're wondering how many station stops we have left this is a five station service I guess you could call it um, we've got another stop at Dewsbury and then a final stop at Leeds Okay, we are 800 yards now from the next station. I'm just going to decrease the throttle and slowly start increasing the brakes because we're going to be coming up to that 15 mile an hour speed limit inside the station area. Um, so we'll just slowly start bringing that down. I don't need to be too drastic just yet. Here we go, this is the station right here, we'll just go ahead and put a bit more braking on, about 20% should be good, maybe just increase that to about 45, we'll just bring that right down, apply a bit more braking, we did overshoot a little bit there, I mean the train is actually going to be lined up with the platform, we came in a little bit hot there. Um, we are running a little bit behind. We're about four minutes behind um, So I wanted to kind of get a bit of a shimmy on but we did pull into the station a little bit hot there So I'd recommend when you come into any station provided what the speed limit is Pulling at about 15 miles an hour put about 10% brake pressure on when you get up to the marker And you should be pretty much bang on is my suggestions, but we're ready to go, we'll lock both doors, we'll go ahead and turn on the throttle, let that build up the boost pressure. I don't really know where the boost gauge is, if there is one. We'll just go ahead and release the brakes now. I think, yes, we are moving, okay, beautiful. Just go, oh, we got wheel spin, no. I went too quick with the throttle. That's what happens when you go too quick with the throttle, you just get wheel spin. So you'll see in the bottom right there where the speedo is. Yeah, we got it again there. Um, when it does that juddering, I think that's wheel spin. Uh, someone will correct me who knows about trains, but uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and put it up to max throttle now. Um, we've got seven miles to Leeds. We're uh, supposed to arrive there at five to three. Um, probably going to be about five minutes after that so yeah it's about a 15 minute trek to Leeds so I guess I'll see you when we get there oh there's another train coming the other way I should honk the horn I guess that's what train people do right when you see another train you honk at each other maybe maybe not Okay, we're just coming up to Leeds, which is our final stop today. Uh, looks like we might actually arrive at Leeds around the right time. It's half a mile, um, but just to make up a little bit for lost time, I am slightly going over the speed limit. The speed limit is currently 25 miles an hour, or 20 miles an hour, I'm doing 30 just to try and get there a bit on time but I don't want to derail so I'm just going to bring that down and it is going to go to 10 miles an hour in a minute so we'll just go ahead and release the brake and we'll just coast nicely into the station we've got 30 seconds to get there on on time we're probably not going to get there exactly on time but if we're a minute out that's pretty good going for for our second journey on camera I mean I have done a few journeys off camera but for our second journey on camera a minute or two here and there out it's pretty good going I mean the real rail service in England is usually about five minutes out either way um, sometimes it's on time but um, 
I think if we're a minute or two out either way, that's pretty good going to be honest. If you're early, I guess that's not such a big issue. We are still going over the speed limit, but I'm just going to coast it nicely in at 20 miles an hour. We're not going to derail at this speed. Um, we're just going to go nicely up to the marker, and then we actually get out of the train and we can walk around on the platform, which is pretty cool. So I'll just go ahead and apply initial application of the brakes. So that puts the brakes on at the lowest setting. And then we'll just go and bump that up to about 10. Uh, maybe we'll just leave that on. Initial application. That's just going to slow us down nicely. Might just roll onto the marker. I'll put it back onto running. And there we go. Stop pretty much on the market we're a little bit over but that's not the end of the world we'll go ahead and unlock the doors and let the passengers out and that is going to be the final station stop i don't know what happens once we uh, offload the passengers we have now made it um we just have to load the passengers on which is what we're doing now the wipers going the wipers are happy we haven't made it to our final destination so we'll just see what happens once we've loaded the passengers on we'll probably receive some more AP um, I don't believe you can buy trains on this game so like credits is not really a thing on this game but you do get AP and you can see there it gives you your performance the speed limit and how fast we're going we did pretty well on that front I have to say um, there was a couple of points there where we were slightly over but we were usually under the speed limit so um, it tells you as well your stop accuracy so you can see our first one was definitely the most accurate we were 1.5 yards out which is pretty much bang on that's as good as you're going to get our second station stop at Huddersfield we were a bit off 13 yards but it's not too bad to be honest and then it tells you what time you were due there and what time you actually arrived there the first one we were early second one was on time the third one we were three minutes out and this one we were a minute out so on the whole not too bad we did pretty well there we can continue our journey from leeds to manchester victoria so we basically pick up from where we left off um, but that's going to do it for today's video hopefully you have found this quite an interesting game if you've not seen the previous episode as i mentioned at the start i'll link it in the description below and if you want to consider subscribing to me please do i'm trying to gain some more subscribers on here we're going for that a thousand subscriber goal so if you want to help us out with that i'd appreciate it but with that all said and done thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode